Hello everyone, my name is Blade Walker and welcome back to our Let's Play for 7 Days to Die, Alpha 18.4. Now, something I was discussing with my good friend Moon Knight recently, in the last couple of days, is that I really don't like how the gyrocopter landing pad is in a square pattern. I really want it to be elongated in a nice rectangular pattern, but that's easier said than done. So, what I was thinking about doing was just adding on some uh, edges onto each side and see how it looks. But more than that, I do have to be... Oop, that's not what I meant to do. I do have to be careful because if you go too far, it will collapse. And I definitely do not want to cause a collapse. Now, of course, this also means that I'm going to have to delete or destroy these and redo it. Not a big deal. Now, what I am going to do is try to remember or figure out exactly where the supports are. So they're what? Two over... It's the, oh! Oh, that was really nice. Crunch. Well, shit. Well. Hmm. That sucked. Alright, let's... uh. Oh, good lord. This is why I hate the broken leg thing. It's so dumb. Come on. I don't even think I have any splints. No, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, no, that's right. We can go this way. <laughs> Let's see if I have any splints, which I'm pretty sure I don't. Oh, I absolutely do. Well, that's nice. Go ahead and use one of those to refill my max hit points up. And then I think now we're just going to go ahead and uh, we'll just take the ladder up this time instead of trying to break my damn leg again. Okay. So, let's go ahead and pick this up. Now. According to my... Fancy one, two, and then it should be this one. This should enable us to start one over. One over. This should help enable us to uh, make the pad longer with less chance of it collapsing. So... This... This... I keep saying delete, destroy. Gonna get rid of this stuff. Let's see how we can expand this pad a little bit. The sad thing is I'm not really doing it for function, as it were. It's pretty much just for looks. I don't really have too much issue landing on the pad. I mean, it will make it easier for sure, but it's not the primary motivation for it. Okay. Oop. Not what I meant to do. Okay, that's alright. Uh, let's see. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend out the steel on these, which will help with any potential structural integrity issues. Now, I don't intend... Really? It's damaged? I don't intend to, to take this to the limit. Uh, I know I can take it around... 10 out, maybe 11. Let me see. I have to double check. Yeah, I, I could take these out 10 easily. But I don't know if I'm going to do that. Let's drop down a little bit. So that's one, two. Oh, well, that's all right. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're going to go eight. So that's six, and I need to go two more. Let's not get directly underneath, so I'll hit my head again, because that would suck. 
I don't know. You know, I don't know why I'm doing that. Build it with this. Ugh, oh, sometimes. Sometimes I just don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, so that should be eight out, right? No, that's six out, isn't it? Yeah, let's double check that. I'm pretty sure that's only six. Three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, so I need to go two more out. Hmm. I'll pick these up from underneath. I do not want this to count as a support because then when I take it out from below, it'll collapse and that would be a problem. Plus, it would confuse the hell out of me. Now, it was just fine a moment ago. Now, it's collapsing. Well, that's why. All right, so I still got to add one more onto the, on the end. And that should do. I'm so glad that they got rid of the issue with structural integrity when it came to wet cement. It used to be that wet cement had less structural integrity than dry cement. Fortunately, that is no longer the case. They got rid of that in Alpha 8, 17. Because it used to be really difficult to build things near the maximum integrity, structural integrity, because what you would end up having to do is support the con the wet concrete from below, like I kind of like I just had there. And then once it dries, you could remove the support. But sometimes that was uh, easier said than done. Now I remember why I brought these. It was for the ramps. All right. There we go. Watch it collapse. I'll be so unhappy. It shouldn't. Especially with the extra uh, stuff here. The extra support. And I'm, I intend to put these all the way up to there, so... Okay. So how much did I add on for the wet concrete? One, two, three, four, five. Five? One, two, three, four, five. Yep, looks like just five. Alrighty then, so five it is. Do, 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 do. There's two. Three. Four. And five. It's also pretty crazy how much structural integrity just plain rebar frames have. They have the exact same structural integrity as the actual concrete, if I recall. Yep, they do. 10 and 120. 10 mass per block, 120 max before they'll start collapsing. Which means you can technically go 11 or 12 blocks, I forget which, and then one more block after that will cause a collapse. So since I'm only going, I think, eight or eight or nine, I think I was going eight blocks out, there's no chance of collapse in this case. And then, of course, I say that, and boom, everything comes down on my head. I really hope not, but it wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, I think this is going to look much better, especially from down below. Because right now, when you, looked, or when you looked at it before, it was like, what's that big square up there? Well, that's, uh, that's my gyrocopter landing pad. Looks more like a helipad to me. Eh, shut up. Hey, hey, level up. Okay. Yeah, I think this is going to look so much nicer. Okay, now I did bring my paintbrush, so I can paint some of this the way it's supposed to, or back to the way it looked. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, I really should have done that, but that's alright, not a big deal. Do this. I'm not worried about. I'm not going to bother painting any of the any of this stuff here at the moment because obviously some of this is still going to have to dry and then be repainted. So that was a uh, silly on my part. I am going to leave those there so that I remember that that's where I have to upgrade 
the reinforced concrete, which is also why I'm not going to paint the lines here because it would pretty much just be a waste of time. All right, so there's all that. Now I can do this. All right, so that's that. All right, looking pretty good. Really didn't, well, actually, that no, that actually kind of works. It was an accident, but I'll take it. Yeah, see, this stuff still needs to be upgraded, so that's okay. But there you go. That's the general idea. Unfortunately, I need a whole bunch of more of those and some more of those. You know, I kind of wish I had this one more over, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. I wonder if it'll break my leg again. No. No. You, you won't know until you try. Alright, let's see, let's see. I need to get the items to up... Not upgrade. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Hmm. Nope, those are wet concrete blocks. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't I put the decorative items in a different box? I do believe I did. Nope. Ah, there they are. Uh, that's not going to be enough, I do not believe. Fountain chairs. I believe I'm going to need to make some more. How much more? I don't know. That's going to have to cancel. Oh, it's all, really? It all burned in, did it? Okay, I still can't make an anvil. That'd be nice. There it is, metal letters. I got, what, 16? Uh, we'll say another 10. Fences and railings, probably the same. Let's see if I have any iron. I should still have some iron, at least I hope. Oh, I got plenty of iron. Well, not plenty, but I got iron. Yeah, I've really got to get my butt out there and start farming. Because... I'm going to need lots and lots of steel coming up in the not-so-distant future. I added a few more lanes or rows here all the way around. I'm hearing a noise, but I don't think it's in the game, so that's good. Alright, are you done yet? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 13 seconds. 10 seconds. Come on, let's get this done. And I definitely want to do all the forged steel. I completely ran out of forged steel. That's that's not good. Did I put the... No, I... Yeah, yeah, I do want the forged steel on me because I do need to upgrade still. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The thing I love about this game, you can pretty much go forever. If you have the imagination... There is no limit to the things you can see and do. Alright, so we can do it. And then upgrade that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Alright. Any of these dried? Now, how is it all those dried? No, oh, that's right, because those, those were done way before. Alright. Let's go ahead and put some of these in. Copy rotation. Doom, 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 doom. Okay. I don't know if I got enough here, to be honest. Looks like most of those are probably good to go. And these are coming up. Ah, that's what I can do. Go ahead and put up the railings. Copy shape just in case. Copy rotation. And away we go. OK, 
Okay, looks good. Copy rotation. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. This looks really good. Very, very happy with this. I wonder how it looks on the bottom. Let's go find out. Plus, I definitely want to paint the pillars and the underside of it. Which means i got to go up top. And I only have one forge going, so... There should not be an issue with screamers, at least I hope. Oh yeah, I think that looks way better. Crap. I gotta go up there and get those. I mean, I could just drop them and waste it, but it's like, ah, that's a lot of rebar frames. I really don't want to... Don't really want to waste that many frames. At least not if I can avoid it. go so now the question is what do I want to do these I'm thinking something that's absolutely ridiculous Oop, wrong button no 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 uh, metal plate wall metal corrugated no that's a little too obnoxious concrete red eh, maybe Hmm. Maybe the bottom will be red kind of as a warning. Don't hit this stupid. Oh, I never did upgrade that, did I? Well, I did now. I wish they had the paint all sides option in survival mode, but they don't. For some reason, that's creative only. That would sure make painting a lot easier in some instances. Especially when you place down glass and then you can't access the side. And you forgot that you didn't paint it. And then it's like, well, my choice is either bust out the glass and paint it and then replace the glass. Or just leave it. And when it's bulletproof glass, that's actually... I, I mean, I'll, I still break it out and do it, but... Bulletproof glass is super expensive, so I definitely understand why some people be like, nope, not doing it. There we go. Oh, crap. I want to do it four high. And then i got to figure out what I want to paint the rest of this thing. Probably black granite, mostly just because I really like the way black granite looks. It's kind of shiny, and it's black, and it looks really good. So... Black granite, maybe. Or maybe I could do the marble, the gray marble. Yeah, I think I like the gray marble better. Nice thing is when it comes to the pillars, there is no multiple sides. It's all one side. Man, it's crazy how far you can paint. <laughs> oh, looks like there's the limit. Get this done. Go ahead and redo those. Let's go ahead and move out a little bit and take a look. Oh, yeah. I got to get rid of some of these trees. They're interrupting my gyrocopter takeoff and landings. And I don't appreciate that. All right. There we go. Go ahead and get up there as much as we can. Now, what do I want to paint the bottom? I'm thinking I might actually do the black granite for the bottom just because it, uh, wow, that really went high. Damn. Simply because it would, uh, you want it to be dark on the bottom. You don't really want it to be light. Or at least I don't. I mean, I guess there's really no rhyme or reason for wanting it to be darker on the bottom. But I would like it to be dark on the bottom personally so I think that's what I'm gonna do all right 
Wow, this is really, really difficult. Well, it's not difficult, it's just annoying. You could use the, uh, what do you call it, the, this thing, the paint roller, but then you start over spraying and you hit other things you don't want to hit, and yeah, that's, I've tried that. It does work, but sometimes the cleanup is a little more annoying than just dealing with it, doing it one by one. There we go. Oh, boy. It's kind of silly, too, because you're doing these little tiny edges here on the corner of these plates, and it costs the same amount of paint as doing a whole side. Seems kind of silly to me, but, I mean, obviously they don't, they can't implement partial paint costs, like, ooh, a half a paint. <laughs> God, I, don't, I can't even tell if I'm painting that. Did I get most of this? I did. Okay. I'm going to climb up on a dealie and we'll take a gander and see what it is. So give me a minute. I'll, I'll finish this off camera. Okay, and we're back. Uh, whew, I just finished the paint job, although I just realized I didn't get the sides, but that's okay. Okay, so I painted the pillars all the way up, and I got all of the little edges even of the ladder protection, whatever you want to call it. I did a black granite for the bottom part, and then like I said, I just realized I didn't get the sides. Well, hell, I guess I better go ahead and do that real quick, because it's going to drive me nuts if I don't. go I think I'm gonna do nope not that red I'm gonna do the concrete oh god there's no way oh I got it I didn't think I would oh boy this looks really in my opinion looks really good most people are like oh my god it's hideous I don't care what you think <laughs> I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I hope you guys like it, but if you don't, I totally understand. Now, the question is, can I get that little bitty corner edge without flopping off and breaking my damn leg? No, I don't believe I did. You know what I think? I think I'll go ahead and just get that from up top. But, I even painted the bottom down here. Got it all looking good. I got the top uh, all upgraded to steel and painted. I did run out of a few of the the metal letters. I think seven is what I ran out. So I'm making some more currently. And when we're done here, we're going to go ahead and grab those, go up top, place them down, paint them, and this will be 100% done. I shouldn't ever have to mess with this gyrocopter landing pad again unless I do something dumb and collapse it, which is entirely possible. Can I paint the... No, man, it'd be cool if you could paint the railings. But there we go. That looks pretty darn phenomenal if you ask me. So let's go downstairs, grab the last few items that I need to finish. And head up top to finish. Should be in here. Yep. Don't need this. We need that. We're going to need to go I. And then I can copy rotation. Drop it. Paint it. And call it a day. Okay. Go ahead and, oh, no, no, not auto-rotate, copy. There we go. And we are almost done. And we are done. Nope, 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 no, we're not, no, we're not. Oh. 
This is so dumb. I don't even know why I'm doing this, to be honest. <laughs> gotcha. My leg just finished healing, too. That's what makes it even funnier. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> I think I already got this side. Yes, I did. And then I think I got this side as well. Yes, I did. All right, fellas, there we go. One completed gyrocopter landing plaid. Plaid? Landing pad slash platform. All right, let's see what it looks like from the sky. That looks so tacky, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't care. It definitely does look a lot better, though, with the, uh... Whatchamacallit, the... The longer... See, look at this. Why am I dropping? This is the bullcrap. Oh, yeah, that does. I, I like it. I think... Why am I going down? What the hell? Go up, 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 you fool. Alright, that's it. These trees gotta go. That's the last straw. Give me this. Stupid tree. Go away. Hate trees. Hates them. Die. Stupid trees. I know I didn't plant you here. Go away. These trees have been driving me nuts since I put that platform up there. I've hit him or almost hit him several times. No more. I think this last one will do it. Stupid rabble. Die. Come on. How long is it going to take to get off the ground? Five minutes? Nope. Oh, look at that. We actually got off pretty darn quick. What was that? Ooh, an iron node. All right. See, I don't understand why it just drops like a rock. It doesn't do that when you use a mouse and keyboard, but it sure as hell does when you use a controller. It just doesn't make sense. And then... Bam. <laughs> Love it. I like the way it looks. Even if it is horribly tacky. Make sure, as far as I can tell, I didn't miss anything. Nothing was mispainted. Nothing was missed. I know everything's steel underneath because I already upgraded I upgraded it before I painted it. So we're looking good. I got the ends. I got the sides. Yeah, I think we're good, guys. So I think I'm going to call this episode here. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a comment, suggestion, like, or subscribe. Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in the next episode.